This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. I would like to do an update on Eisen, where Eisen is today, and what her course should be, or is charted to be, by SolarSystemScope.com, Eisen's interactive map. Today is September 27th. We're at 2.11 a.m. If up is north, down is south, left is west, right is east, Ison is just north-northeast of Mars right now. It's this close. Let's back out a little bit. Come in. It's this close to Mars. Let's look at what that looks like from different angles. Not too much room between Ison and Mars as Ison gets ready to do a flyby of Mars. This is Ison tomorrow, the 28th of September. Not far from Mars, the 29th. just flying over this is September 30th do you see how close Ison is to Mars it's flying over Mars just to the east north northeast of Mars very, very close. So close that its debris field, Mars, is now rotating in. It is now revolving in Ison's debris field. September 30th. September 30th is Monday. This is October 1st for Ison and Mars. Look at that. It is well ensconced in Ison's debris field. Now, truthfully, if Ison is that close to Mars, impact would not necessarily be unthinkable. Look how close. Look at the proximity between Ison and, and Mars. There is very little distinction between the two. Very little distinction. Anything could happen. Any magnetic pull, any lack of inertia could create impact between Mars and Ison October 1. October 1. Isn't that interesting? We're hearing a lot about October 1. October 2. Still very little distinction. Uh, very much ensconced in the bulk of Ison's debris field. Mars on this day will be pelted everywhere it turns that debris field. Mars will be pelted. And as you can see, this debris field that's coming at Mars is just going to 
hit it with all kinds of debris, asteroids, meteors, meteorites, dust, all kinds of debris from that asteroid belt and from Ison's tail. October 2nd. October 3rd. Mars is very much still being pelted. And there's very little distinction between Ison's orbit and the body of Mars itself. Very little distinction. The bulk of Ison's nucleus is passed on October 4th is past Mars. However, Mars is still revolving in Ison's debris field. Not the heaviest portion, but part of the heaviest portion of Ison's debris field. There's more of a distinction between Ison and Mars, as you can see. Ison is putting some space between the two. Here is October 5th, Mars still being impacted by the tail of Ison and the debris field. There's more of a distinction as Ison continues on its path. This is the 6th of October. Mars still being impacted by the debris field following Ison. Not quite away from its tail, but there is more distinction between the body of Ison and the body of Mars. This is what October 7th will look like if Ison escapes the magnetic field of Mars and there is no impact. This is what it will look like. It will have scarred Mars quite a bit. I don't know if you remember the comet that broke up and hit Jupiter and how many pieces that that hit Jupiter and how devastating it was on Jupiter. This is Mars traveling through the entire debris field the entire time it's traveling by Ison. Ison's debris field comes out like this. So it will be at least October 21 by the time Mars leaves Ison's debris field. Now we're told Ison is going to take this trajectory so that when it goes around the Sun It will go north of the Earth as the Earth is passing by, at which time the Earth begins to pass through Ison's debris field. Now you remember the f debris field is like this wide. So Earth is actually passing through the debris field in December. Okay. right about there. It's a wide debris field. Right about this time Venus will be traveling between the Earth and the Sun. So we will not only be pelted by all of this debris from Ison's debris trail, we will be experiencing a really remarkable Venus eclipse. 
and all the while the earth is going to be pelted especially across the United States northern and even southern portions of the United States and the northern hemisphere on the other side of the world we're all going to be pelted very heavily even the southern portion is going to be pelted but more than northern hemisphere will be pelted by Ison's debris trail now you have to remember also uh, and it will be around the 29th of January when we are fully free of that we're still going to be getting uh, asteroids, meteorites, and meteorites and so forth from the asteroid belt that have been thrown this way by Ison. But by January 29, we should be well free of the larger portion of Ison's debris trail. Now, I hope this uh, model is correct. We don't know for sure if Ison is going to take that route. This is a mathematical equation. Uh, scientists believe this will be the way of it, but um, we don't really know for sure if that is the track Ison is going to take. Now, we don't know exactly where Ison will come out ricocheting away from the Sun. This is a supposed trajectory. So we don't know if Ison is going to take a track that northerly. We don't know that. And I, I think it's possible that this model may be showing a more northerly orbit because they do not want panic to ensue on the Earth. Because with a more southerly orbit, this is what it looks like. This is Earth. This is December 17th. If it's more southerly, this is what's going to be happening. December 6th or 7th we will enter into Ison's debris field if this takes a more southerly orbit track and we will not escape the debris field until the 9th of January. So I really truly believe that is why scientists are giving it a more northerly track. We don't honestly know. The truth is no one knows where that track is going to be taken. We don't even f know for sure if Ison is going to escape the Sun's gravitational pull. We don't know for sure.